Hey guys, this is me, Christina Marie. I am doing a review on this Caudalie uh, gift set that I got. Okay, so I have tried Caudalie in the past. I have tried their moisturizer, which this is absolutely fantastic. But I have about five different products here by Caudalie. And um, I figured I'd turn on the camera and shoot a video and tell you guys what I honestly thought of them. I know the moisturizer is great, but I've never tried the wash, the eye cream, the serum, the um, brightening serum, whatever it's called. But anyways, if you guys are curious to if this product is actually worth your money, let's go ahead and just jump straight to that video. But before we get there, please hit that thumbs up button, the little subscribe button, and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Let's get to that video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wash my face with the Caudalie Instant Foaming Cleanser. This is a moisturizing grape and purifying sage. So let's see what it looks like. It comes out just like a mousse. And it smells, it smells good. You would think it smells like grapes, but it doesn't at all. It just smells like a cleanser. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wet my hands a little bit. I am like so extremely oily today. So let's see how it cleans. So this is actually lovely, actually. It did not make my skin so extremely, like it didn't strip all the oils away. You can feel that my skin is still hydrated, but it took just the right amount of oil off my skin so I don't overproduce in the day. Let's go ahead and get to the next product. Okay guys, so this is what my skin looks like after I washed it. It feels great. I really do feel like I'm still hydrated. I'm not like overly dry. So let's go ahead and go on to the next step. This is a concentrated brightening essence. It looks like a toner. I don't know what it smells like. Let's smell it. It smells like a toner. Um, it says that it has grapefruit water, um, orange flowers, a bunch of good stuff in it. Now when you apply it to the face, cause it says you can use your fingers and you're supposed to apply this before your serum. I don't know, to me it feels like it has a little bit of alcohol. That's kind of how it would feel, it feels on my skin when I, my, this is how other products feel on my skin when they say toner. But let's read the ingredients and see if there is actually alcohol in this thing. So there's no alcohol in this product at all. It kind of just gives you, you know, when you put on a toner, you have that like refreshing, woo, Feel. That's kind of how that felt. So the next step is that we actually go to the serum. So after that's already dried down and absorbed into your face, it absorbs actually relatively fast. We're gonna try the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. Uh, there you go, you can see it right there. Let's see what this looks like. It's just a, it looks like a, it doesn't have a really strong fragrance. It does have a strength, it, it does have a fragrance, but not, not like super strong, just looks like a lotion. And it's very runny and very thin. So this is the serum that's supposed to treat your skin. And I don't know about you guys, but I throw it up here under my eyes right there, under my eyes, eyebrows. Let that soak in while we jump over here to the energizing and smoothing eye cream. Let's go ahead and open this and see what this is like. And obviously with an eye cream, you only need a little bit. It's not runny, which that's kind of good. So it says apply morning and evening to eye and lip contours. What's that? I'm not, I'm not gonna apply this to my lip. What's a lip contour? Maybe you guys can tell me. Anyways, this formula is a thicker consistency as you guys can see right there. It smells very, like a light fragrance. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all. Now, I don't know if this is gonna interfere with my, uh, my eyeshadow but I doubt it and always run it underneath. Even though it didn't say to do that, I do that anyway. So the skin feels already with the products that I put on, it already feels like it's moisturized. At least my skin feels like it's already moisturized. It wasn't dehydrated after I washed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply now the final step and that is their moisturizer. Thick. They all have like that little bit of a, a little bit of a fragrance of like of flowers or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this onto the skin. Still a little sticky, you guys can see that. Now, I'm not gonna be applying any primers or anything to my makeup routine today because honestly feel like I have plenty of moisturizers 
moisturizers already on my skin. But I'm gonna tell you right now, so this is the first time me using a few of these products, but this, this moisturizer right here, is typically what I have in my makeup drawer because this bad boy alone, by itself, the moisturizer absorbs like extremely well into the skin. Now here I still do feel a tad bit like, like I have, I guess I had so many products on my skin that I feel like I have like a balm almost on my skin. Even though it's kind of funny because I don't feel sticky and I don't feel like I'm over, like I'm weighed down in my face. It does feel good. But I think that when you use the moisturizer alone, it really, really penetrates into your skin. Now, I personally will be using these other products, but I'm probably going to be using them at night because I want to give my skin that extra hydration so I don't get wrinkles. But for every day, I don't think like using all these extra products is quite necessary for my skin type, which I'm a very, I'm an oily combination, very oily combination uh, skin type. But I really do recommend if you have a tremendous amount of oil and you want a very light moisturizer that, that absorbs 100% in your skin, I would just go with this pink moisturizing sorbet. It's a cute name. I'll post a link down below to these products if I can find them. If not, I got these at Sephora once again, but my, my skin feels hydrated and feels great. But nighttime, daytime, nighttime, and the cleanser was absolutely fabulous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did enjoy this, if you did, if you didn't enjoy this review, don't say anything. But if you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. And even if you didn't, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.